Now, when you do spiritual practices, there are spiritual practices which help move the energy in the body, but it is done through physical movement. So there's the certain uh, positions or, or in, in yoga, they call them the asanas and hand positions, the mudras and certain breathing techniques, uh, which move the energy in the body as part of the spiritual practice. And there's the different breathing techniques that are uh, done during uh, specific meditation. So some meditations will have certain breathing techniques, other meditations will have other breathing techniques. And the breathing is supposed to help guide the movement of energies in the body, uh, which are needed for spiritual progress. And then you have in Arhatic Yoga, the techniques where the primary focus is the energy itself, meaning the breathing is a secondary uh, technique to the movement of energy and the recognition of where the energy is supposed to go and what it's supposed to be used for. So this is an aspect that is uh, not touched upon by too many schools. The recognition, for example, that Kundalini is a form of energy. It is an energy and it is it has a certain location uh, and it has a certain source and that it can be evolved uh, like other other energies that that uh, grow and evolve in the body in the course of the spiritual practice.